Hello, this is Derek from Creative Maps. Today we're going to uh, go over the Glam Wow Glitter and Glam Kit and uh, just kind of show you the ropes, show you how I use the kit, uh, let show you how you can access in a couple different ways. So let's just get to it. As you know, this kit, it's all about glitter, it's all about glam. Um, it's pretty cool. I got a lot of different unique styles that you can choose from and let's just get to it. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we have to install the uh, layer styles and also install the patterns and there's a, a easy way to do that and I can kind of show you if you go to window you go to styles it will pop up over here and all you have to do is click here and then go to load styles and when you go to load styles it's going to ask you to locate the file so wherever you unzip the file from you will go there and double click on it and then it's going to load all the styles for you over here in your palette. So you can access that in the layer style palette and another way to access those is if you right click on your layer you can click on blending options. From here you can click the styles tab at the top and then you can just pick and choose what you want to do. So another way is to to use the product is with the patterns and with patterns you can uh, install it this way, which I find the easiest, is if you go to your uh, paint bucket tool and you choose foreground to pattern. Here it will have a little drop down and then you can click the gear icon and then you can load your patterns in this way. And then this way you can simply use the, uh, the paint bucket tool if that's something that, you're, that, that you like to do, you know, for you personally. Now I will say that the paint bucket tool doesn't give you flexibility like... Um, layer styles do in terms of ease of use but there's there's pros and cons to both ways so uh, it's really up to you and you know what your workflow is like and how you like to uh, go about designing you know your projects and doing your day-to-day and -day uh, work using photoshop so let's just get to it uh, I, i'm not a big fan of the styles palette because i i like to do a lot of tweaking so but we can start off with one of these and i'm gonna start off with viva gold and I'm going to go to the blending option. And here, right away, you're going to see the scale is 50%. So here, we can change the scale. Now, you never want to go above 100%. Because let's say we went to 110. And you're going to start seeing things get blurry. You know, uh, it's just never going to look good. Now, if you start at 100, you can't go down to, say, 90. Because again, look, it doesn't resample. the, the it, it, Photoshop has never resampled when it comes to patterns so uh, their algorithms off or something like that but um, you know if you go to 75 it, it, it looks a little okay but the trick here is you can only go to 100 you can go to 50 25 10 5 and 2 or 1 so for this I'm gonna go ahead and just go to 100 hit OK and what's cool with these patterns is that they're all seamless. So you never run into an issue where you may see like a, a line or you may see where the patterns start and end. Uh, you don't want that. So these patterns are 100% seamless. You're never going to be able to see a start or ending point to these. So uh, let's just kind of go through some of the, some of the uh, ones that we have here. And I'm just going to go through them just so you can kind of see them. You know, there's a ton of them all different uh, varieties. This wasn't like I just recolored one pattern. You know, I did these all individually. So each one is unique in its own way. Some of them look similar in nature, but when you look at them, you know, uh, close up, you can see that they're all, you know, they all have their own characteristics. But um, they're all pretty much already colored. You know, let's say you, you chose that and you go, oh, you know, I don't really like that color what you can do is you can add a color overlay and then you can essentially recolorize it with a color overlay so you know you can use the blending modes to recolor any of these to fit your needs so i just put a lot of different colors in there based off of my research and what i've seen in terms of what was already out there when it comes to glitter um so that's why i did this but Let's just find a, a cool one. I'm always a fan of gold. I love gold. And let's choose that for the text. And then over here, let's choose something else to complement it. 
and I'm probably going to do like a green or something like that. And again, I'm going to go to my patterns. You know, I feel like it's a little too small. Let's bump it up. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And what you can do is you can, you know, use the patterns in the conjunction with the styles because they're already there for you. So you don't have to keep going back and forth from the patterns overlay to the styles tab. So let's see. You know, blue would go would look good with gold. Um, even white, you know. Really, even you could do a dark color as well. And that would look good with gold, you know, gold and black. A golden garnet, you know, you could do that. You know, those are two famous colors. Um, it, a, a lot of colors go with gold, as, as you all, as you're all aware. But for me, I'd like to see that golden green because that uh, represent uh, symbolizes, you know, uh, money. You know, golden green. You know, cash and then gold. But that's irrelevant here. So you know, we could go that route and do that. You know, let's say. Uh, this would be a perfect one, you know, the sun. You know, we know that that's going to be that yellow tint, you know, that gold tint. And here I'm not even going to go to the Styles palette. I'm just going to go ahead and find what I'm looking for. So let's go here. Let's find, uh, 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 there we go. I like that. And then um, here, let's do this. Let's uh, change it up a little bit. Let's, um, oh. This is my little way of doing this. So you may go, man, what are you doing? You're, you're spending a lot of time. I'm very old school when it comes to design. You know, I, I started off with, uh, whoops, I messed up, with uh, Photoshop uh, 6. I've, I don't even remember if they call it 6 at my intern job many, many years ago. And um, a lot of the things, you know, we didn't have all the fancy things that you could do um, back in the day. So I know how to do a lot of old school tricks that... It's probably time consuming, but uh, it's just the way that I know how to do it. All right, cool. And I'll just get rid of this point. So here, let's just go ahead and just see if we make a rainbow or something like that. All right. So we got the green. Go here. So after the green, let's do... see what we got that seems a little too dark this could be a darker green <clears throat> go with the red there we go the world awaits you so as you can see you know you can do a lot of stuff with this uh, fairly easy you know you don't have to you know, worry about, you know, opening up different individual patterns that are uh, in a raw format. You simply just uh, pick and choose, you know, what's going to fit your need. And then for you, you got red, green, blue, and then let's add, oops, set our pink. Yep, a hundred. A little bit too bubble gumish. There we go. So that's pretty much it. And you know, I did this with I did the preview image with everything that's in the kit. You know, I did some invitations too, which you can see in the um and this is just all quick stuff, you know. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this just to give you an idea what you could do. You know, you design like merchandising. I did like a couple of phone cases, which are, you know, kind of cool, kind of trendy. I see a lot of, uh, like my wife, she has a, uh, a phone case that has like glitter and stuff on it. So there's, the possibilities are endless. You guys are probably way more creative than I am. Um, I just create tools to kind of help designers uh, do day to day, day in to day out tasks. You know, I'm a designer myself. So um, really anything that you see that I make is because um, I have had to do it in the real world. So... A lot of times I take things that I, I use for uh, my work and, you know, work at an advertising agency um, and I take the, the thing, the tools that I make for myself to make life easier and I make little products on them to help you guys out. So I, I'd look forward to seeing what you guys come up with and girls, I'm sorry, I, I can't single anybody out because I know this product is really more um, geared towards the women out there 
and um you know, please feel free to share what you make with it. You know, if you have suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Just overall, let me know how, how you like the product. And, um, you know, I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And you girls, sorry again. All right, until next time, this is Derek signing off. Bye.